If you're in the mood for something a little bit sporty, we have today we have the Elan E5. Now this is a 40 foot yacht, it's a cruising boat, but it's definitely got a performance orientation. It's built by a Slovenian company. Elan produces a range of other composite and fiberglass products. They make snow skis, they make wind turbines, they make floors for sports stadiums, and they also make yachts. So this yacht has a bit more, as I said, a bit more of a performance orientation, even though it is a cruising boat. Plenty of space here aft in the cockpit. There's a big locker down below and some foot chocks that lift up for steering. Nice pair of carbon wheels. They're very lightweight, feel really good. There's a chart plotter, GPS on either side. The controls for the engine are down here. That's a simple push button operation. And one of the other nice things about this system is that if you are sailing short-handed, you need to run up forward, need to do some adjustment, the steering wheel just locks off and will stay in position there while you use your hands to do whatever you have to do. Yep. Cockpit's well set up for sailing. You've got the main sheet handy there for the helms person or whoever's trimming there. Traveller going through the centre and that's stepped down into the deck so that it's flush to walk through. We've got a pair of primaries for trimming the furling jib and up here we've got the Harkin winches for controlling the keyboards. Also our sail uh, instruments up there so we've got that's very clearly visible from the helm. And of course once the sailing's done, next thing you want to do is sit down and have a drink. But before you get the cockpit table up, you probably want to tidy up, get those lines out of the way. The uh, main sheet and the traveller pop away under the deck over there and down here. We've got a locker for all those rope tails so they're just tidy and out of the way. The table just rises up out of the cockpit sole, folds out, plenty of room for everyone to sit around and have a relaxing drink. nice and safe and easy to go forward to deal with sails and bits and pieces. We've got a generous tow rail. The side of the uh, cabin top here is angled so that when the boat is heeled you've got a good foot position. It's covered in excellent moulded non-skid. Plenty of hand grips as you go forward as well. The other nice thing here is that the lines, the halyards coming after the keyboards have been kept underneath the deck so there's nothing to catch your foot on up there either. Jib uh, for racing is on a track and also has an inboard barber hauler as well. There's plenty of space up here on the foredeck. The jib is furling so it's easy to manage. And then right up forward here we've got the anchor locker for the electric winch for the anchor with foot controls. And also hidden away in here is the extendable prod when you want to get the asymmetric sails out. Actually extend the prod and get some real performance. Coming down to the cabin, we've got good handholds here each side and curved steps for coming down if you're healing. First thing you notice, nice and light and bright, we've got hatches above us and the splash guard instead of a solid duckboard lets in the light without letting in the water. Over here is the galley, pretty standard, we've got a big top loading fridge there, you can also have a spec to have a fridge freezer there. Uh, double sink here, twin burner stove, storage here, place for the wine glasses and plenty of storage up here as well. This model has uh, twin cabins aft as well as a forward cabin and a single head here. Generous double each side, plenty of hanging space just tucking in under the cockpit there. And a generous sized head for the whole family. We've got toilet and shower, plenty of light, plenty of space to get dry. Plenty of room to sit around here in the saloon. We've got some eye level windows looking out to sea so you can catch a glimpse of the view. Fold out table, a little bit of storage space in there for bits and pieces. And this bag here on the mast stops any drips from coming down and landing in your drink. There's a decent sized settee on this side too, but when you're racing or you need to work out where you're going, the nav station is easily deployed. This flips over, lifting up here. You've got your instruments and your VHF and your chart table. And up in the bow is the master cabin. There's plenty of room here and a generous double. Light coming in from above and plenty of storage space. Also, if you're so inclined, you can specify the boat to have an ensuite, which would fit here in the corner so that the master suite has its own head. It's nice to go sailing on a cruising boat that actually sails. This style of boat harks back to things like a 1020 or a 1220 where you actually have cruising comfort but also a decent bit of performance. A smaller version of this boat is actually going to sail in the two-handed round the North Island race next year so that shows you it's not just a boat for going and anchoring up and sitting still on. 
This boat will really appeal to people who want to be able to go away in comfort, but actually want to enjoy the sail on the way there.